Good morning, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, I'm speaking about the next part of the Corinthians, which says that love always hopes, always hopes. And I came across, of course, some beautiful quotations. And this one that I wanted to start with is by Emily Dickinson. And she says, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tunes without the words and never stops at all. So again, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tunes without the words and never stops at all. I think that is so beautiful, right? So this is what hope is. It's something that's indefinable, really, right? It's, it's this feeling that we have from inside that, yeah, it perches in the soul, that when we have hope, there is something that lifts us, right? This thing with feathers, right? This thing that lifts us that I have hope for this. And oftentimes people are aware, we are aware, most of hope um, in times that are not so easy, right? So of course I came across another quotation which you might be familiar with, which is by Martin Luther King Jr. This one says, out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. Out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. Now have you been in those situations? I suspect we all have been in situations that are a mountain of despair where it just seems, how will I ever climb this mountain? How will I make this journey? And in that time, there's something that sparked within, which is this hope, this hope that I hope I make this through. I hope I make it through this. I hope I get through this, right? There's this hope. And you know, a lot of people will talk about hope and say, yeah, I hope that happens. And there's not really belief in that. There's definitely much more belief when things are not easy, right? So there's this hope that I hope something will help me through this, right? I hope I can get through this, right? So all of that thinking often comes in times that are not easy. So I would love for you to sit for five minutes after this video and think about times that have felt like a moment of despair, right? Or a mountain of despair, right? Not just a moment. You might have a moment today even. You might be having a mountain today that you feel like this is so much to get through and I hope I do, right? But you might have had some experience like this in the past and you thought, how did I get through that? But unless you actually sit and contemplate that I did and that felt like a time that I would never get through and something helped me through, hope helped you through and hope again related to love. So I'd love for you to do that for five minutes to contemplate and reflect on the things that have helped you through and I have no doubt that part of that has been based on hope. One more quotation, which I think is absolutely beautiful that I came across today is by Charles Haddon Spurgeon. And this quotation says, hope itself is like a star, not to be seen in the sunshine of prosperity and only to be discovered in the night of adversity. Isn't that the truth, right? So this is again, hope itself is like a star not to be seen in the sunshine of prosperity and only to be discovered in the night of adversity. I love that, right? And it's again, I suspect everyone seeing this video, anyone who is hearing this quotation will be able to connect with it and understand it and remember a time in your own life that when things are really good, things are really good, right? It's again, we are not even looking for anything different when I'm hoping that we enjoy those really good times. But in times of adversity, we do see hope in bright light and wonderful days, sunny, happy, joyful times. We don't really have hope. Um, hope is, is there. Like it's, it's literally it's in the background, right? Hopefully we are all thinking and aware that this background hope is always there. And to be hopeful for a good day ahead, a good hour ahead, a good moment ahead, a good meeting with a friend or colleague or relationship, anyone, this hope is always within us. But in times of adversity, it shines, right? So I would love for you to think for one moment, no, uh, for five minutes, about something that has been uh, a real awareness of the hope within you. And oftentimes we're not even aware of it. So this is why I'd love for you to do this exercise. Sit down and be aware of the hope that has helped you through, which is part of love. I hope you do that. And I hope you have a fantastic day ahead. And I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.